Good day, everyone. We have a very modern looking box in front of us from a not so modern company. I'm here with Ron Rayfield and I'm Justine Dorn. We're in our pajamas right now. We just woke up. You can probably tell by my face that I just woke up and I'm bare faced and everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we got a box from Samson Historical. They are a historical outfitter. They make clothing, cooking supplies, uh, pretty much everything, honestly. What yeah. don't they make? Doodads, what Doodads, and... <laughs> right? So people ask me all the time, where do I get my cooking implements? These are actually from Samson Historical. They're the cheapest place I've found, and they make very good quality products. Even this butter churn up here. This is from Samson Historical. So what don't they make? I don't know, but half the things in our cabin are honestly from Samson. They are. <laughs> and I think that they caught wind of that, so they sent us a box. All that I know about it is that it has clothes in it. And this is an 18th century themed store. We do early 19th century, mostly we do 1820s. They do 18th century, so it's a bit earlier. But in our private lives, we also reenact 18th century. We do, I mean, me personally, I do anything from 1750 to 1825, and you pretty much do the same. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. So that's our area that we focus on. And we're going to go back in time a little bit to a period before 1820. We're going to go to 1775 here. So all I know is that there's clothes in this box. I don't know what color they're going to be. I don't know exactly what kind of clothes. I just know they told me that they're sending me clothes. So thank you, Samson Historical. And then after we open this, we're going to try it all on. So oh. Also, I didn't get clothes today, but I do have Samson clothes, so the clothes I'll be wearing are also from Samson, for the, yes. from the men's line. Yes, all I know is they're sending me clothes for me, so yep. women's clothes. But the <laughs> they clothes, didn't send Ron any clothes. Right, but the clothes you uh -huh. see today will be all from Samson. Right. Okay, let's see. Let's open it. Stand back. I have, I asked Ron to give me a knife, and he brought me the biggest knife we have. I guess that means you trust me around knives. Mm. We keep cardboard boxes because we burn them. Yep. We use them as kindling. And I use the packing paper to roll cartridges. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of it in here, looks like. Ooh, Ooh paper, we can burn it! <laughs> no, it's cartridges. Got oh, for cartridges? Part? Yeah. Well, here you go, here's more of it. Thank you, Samson. Oh, wow, this is cool. Mm -hmm. okay, let's see. Okay, first let me take everything out of the box. Cartridge paper. Oh, yes. Ooh. <laughs> Rise and shine. He doesn't trust me around knives. So the first thing, it's not wrapped up. These look like arm warmers. <laughs> well, that was very nice of them. Send that to me. They're these off-white arm warmers. These are really nice. Wow, that is nice. Got a thumb hole. Yeah. Yeah, these were definitely a thing back in the day. 18th century dresses, they usually would have ended right here. They were at elbow length for the sleeve. And if you wanted to keep the sun off of you, if you wanted to stay warm, you would have worn these. Oh, these are very nice. Very nice. Yeah, these are very nice. And you can probably tell from looking at me, I do need to keep the sun off of me. So thank you. <laughs> or else I get sunburned. Nice. Yeah, these are very nice. This looks like a little ribbon to tie it. You're right. Tight if you need to. Or maybe it's for the other things I've sent. Yeah, they sent us a ribbon. <laughs> it looks like either it's black or a very dark blue. <laughs> Let's open. Mm. Let's do this one. Next. Mm. I'm trying to see what color exactly this ribbon is. It looks like it's either black or dark blue. I love ribbons. I have a whole Looks black. montage of them ribbons right here. Okay, yeah, it's black. 
which is nice. That's yeah. that's my fancy right there. That's tickling my inner goth. So thank you. Ooh, it's a lot of ribbon too. That might mean it matches with what they sent. Ooh, more black. I'm liking this. I'm liking this outfit, Erwin. <laughs> okay, this is a skirt. This is a petticoat, and it looks like it's made out of silk. Very nice. This is really nice. I don't own an 18th century silk black petticoat. I have another one from Samson that's wool. It's really good for winter, but this is silk. Very nice. I feel like I'm moving up in the world. I'm wearing silk now. <laughs> we started off at cotton, and now we're going up to silk. So the strings here are for tying. You tie the back strings in the front and the front strings in the back. So I will huh. be putting that on today. All right. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. That's nice looking. <laughs> that is gorgeous. <laughs> wow, that really is absolutely stunning. I am loving the colors in this. I feel like I will look like a countess who just stepped out of a 16th century old German castle that I inherited from my great-great-grandpa. Yeah, because they're always really old, even by the 18th century, okay. at least in the, in the movies and whatnot. <laughs> Very nice. Really nice. <laughs> this is really nice. This will be a nice outfit. Oh, I'm loving the colors. I don't know how you guys at Samson figured out that I have a little touch inside of me of goth, but you figured it out, and thank you. You nailed it. They must have watched our uh, questions and answers video. Maybe, where, where it says that we like metal music. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is the final piece. Mm -hmm. Looks like shoes. This shoes. They're these mustard colored shoes. Wow, oh, these are really nice. Feel them. They feel very well made. Yeah. They feel sturdy. And these aren't leather, these are wool. Right, it feels like wool. Yeah. To me, it feels like wool. I mean, the bottom of it is leather. Right. So, this is what the soles of shoes looked like back in the day. They were completely smooth, there was no tread on them. You would have gotten tread over time by walking on cobblestone streets, which scratch up the leather. But they're always really slippery at first. But then after you scratch them up, they're just fine. Mm -hmm. These are really nice. These are buckle shoes. You, you can tell because of these two flaps here. You have to put a, a buckle here. Very nice. These are really nice. This is a nice outfit. It's, it's exactly my color palette that I personally would go for. <laughs> So this is absolutely gorgeous, and I can tell it's all very good quality. This is silk too, this bodice. We're gonna go and start the rest of our morning, get dressed, get all prettied up, and eat cake for breakfast, because that's all we got here right now. If you guys want to join us, stay tuned. And thank you, Samson. Thank you. mid-morning. We gotta get up and get ready. Oh, we have a wedding to go to. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to go to that wedding. I heard there's gonna be cake. Oh. Let's get to it. Well, in that case. cold this morning. Yeah, it's a little chilly. A little chilly. It's not that bad. I'll be lucky if I survive to see All spring. Survive. It's cold. <laughs> I'd start a fire, but there's no point. We just have to head on out. Mm -hmm. It's a waste of wood. Now, before we go off the way. I need to shave, don't I? You need to shave. It's the fashion. You have to have a smooth face. Mm -hmm. Do you need me to help you? <laughs> <laughs> Lord, no. Oh, I 
used up the last of our soap yesterday. Mm. Where did I put that new bar? I haven't seen it. Found it. Got your foot warmer ready for you. Oh, thank goodness. So you do that and... It is cold in here. I'll get, uh, get started shaving, how about that? It's not that cold. I feel fine. It is very cold. <laughs> the birds will fall out of the sky frozen. It's that cold today. That's oatmeal. Mm. Oatmeal uh, mixed in with that lye soap. So Mr. Sampson's store, isn't it? It is. I like that. It's mm -hmm. very nice. It won't irritate your skin because it has oatmeal in it. If it's safe enough for my skin, it's safe enough for yours. Mm -hmm.
I don't know anyone else that's going to this wedding. Hmm. That's why I don't like going to most weddings because I don't know half the people there. That's how we meet new people. You are very optimistic. Doesn't hurt to have friends. I wish I had more. I guess I just get shy. Yeah. Whenever I go to places that I don't know most people there. Hmm. You're not like that? You don't get shy? Not really. It's been a while since I've had a shave this nice. <laughs> you look nice. Your skin is smoother than my skin now. <laughs> they made sure we were clean shaven back in the war. But it's been that long since you last. <laughs> yep. Since then I've just roughed it. Well, you look good both ways. Thank you. Okay, you want your pants at least? Yes, your please. Your britches? Brown ones. It's a wash to efface spots and marks, hmm. so it removes spots and marks from your face. So I have all these old acne marks, these pimples that I can heal with with this. Hmm. Mm.
think? No! <laughs> Anywhere but there. I'm ticklish. What do we have for breakfast? We got a few pieces of some cake. Oh, right. The leftover cake from last night. We can eat that before we get on the road. Let me fetch that. you like some brandy? Oh, darling, no. My my head's still split open from yesterday. But the food, thank you. You're welcome. Eat quick. Peace? Oh, yes. Could you help me with my stays? Yes. Take a bite and I'll help you. Mm. <laughs> I love croissant rolls. My stays are behind you. Oh, did I sit on them? Did you? Not quite. Mm -hmm. Around. <laughs> The tide is will go, please. We have people to impress. Yes, ma'am. Places to be and people to impress. Chickens are loud outside. You wanted them. <laughs> this is true. Could you loan me your finger? Yep. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> mm. Now I believe that you are also sitting on my bum roll. I guess I'm sitting on that as well, ain't I? Yes, you're flattening all my goods. <laughs> it's fluffed. You're shaking the dust and dirt off of it after you sit on it. What color waistcoat do you want to wear today? Well, what do you think would look best with your outfit? Hmm. How about your new blue waistcoat from Samson? Okay. Be sure not to sit on that. Oh man. Mm. Well, how's this look? It'll look better once you button it up, silly. Did you when you're done to oh. tie my tie, please? I can do that. Isn't blue your favorite color? It is. Do you remember what my favorite color is? Purple. Close. Lavender? Yes, light purple. <laughs> I'll feel a lot warmer once I put this on. I don't know what you're talking about. I feel fine. That's because you're a big, thick man. <laughs> And I'm a little twig of a woman. This is very nice. I it like is. this. This might be my new favorite. <laughs> that is very nice.
I'm going to show you how it's done. That means <laughs> you wish to be kissed, right? I think it's this. Or is it this? That's that one. <laughs> At least it is now. <laughs> it is now. Everything I do means I wish to be kissed. <sighs> it's finally time for the outer garments. You women take so long to get dressed. <laughs> it's only to impress you. And myself. Thank you. <laughs> is this new? It is new. Where did this come from? The same seamstress that made your waistcoat. Mr. Sampson? Mr. Sampson. Wow. I sure know how to keep him busy. We keep him busy. <laughs> now where is the the black scarf that I have? Oh, I think I laid it. Maybe over there by your your night. My nightgown. Your nightgown. Oh, you're right. It is quite sunny today. Keep the sun off your shoulders. Right. My headache seems to be gone. <laughs> okay, for not sorry. at this rate. <laughs> sorry? No, thank you. It flushes my skin. It makes my cheeks a little red. How did you have a headache but five minutes ago and then it went away after you took the first swig? Well, I saw you sneaking a did swig. Did you? Yes, and I heard it. <laughs> well, it has to go away sometime. Fight fire with fire, as they say. Hmm. That is true. You could have become a pharmacist or a doctor with such amazing advice. Oh, I put that in my pocket. It smells good. It's from the same perfumer, that's a hard word to say, that gave perfume to Mary Antoinette. Wow. <laughs> it has lavender and rose in it. Mm. Well, it smells good on you. In fact, I should put that in my pocket right now. Makes me smell good wherever I go. And if we happen to walk past a smelly corner, I can pull it out and cover my nose with it. This is beautiful. I do love the color. You'll be dressed finer than the bride today. Mm. She's likely to get jealous. Likely. I know <laughs> she'll be jealous. I don't wish to cause any drama now. I don't think I will well, cause that amount of drama. Surely they knew what they were getting <laughs> mm. into when they invite Lady Justine. Oh, come. You're just flattering me now. Normally I put the skirt on first and then the bodice. But you were just too excited to I see the bodice. I was too excited. <laughs> That's all right, I'll help you if you need help. <laughs> Thank you. Tuck me in from the back. Thank you. Even the finest maidens in the lands need <laughs> multiple servants to help them get dressed. Yes, and that is you today. Thank you. I have a good teacher. <laughs>
And now there is the matter of my shoes. Now what are you doing, Ron? Just a little more. What have you done? Hold on. Is this what the men prefer? Well, I suppose I don't dislike it. Thank you. <laughs> now may I borrow your seat as I put my shoes on, yes, please? Or could you help me put my shoes on, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Which ones do you prefer? Blue or the mustard? The mustard. They feel about the same? They do. Great. I don't quite know what to do with my hair. I don't want to fiddle with it too much. And I want to be comfortable for the ride over. Hmm. Hun, could you fetch me my brown coat, please? No. I'm almost ready. A few more buttons here. Here we go. Oh, thank you, dear. This coat I've had for a little bit, mm. and I did get it from Mr. Sampson last year. <laughs> well, that goes quite nice with my new does. waistcoat. You look very nice. Your abstinence from drink did not last long. Who is she marrying again? What's his last name? Hmm. Fair, was it Fairfax? You're right, it is Fairfax. I remember it starts with an mm. F. Mm. That's what I thought. Well, good for her. I am ready. Are you? Yes. Gotta pull my stocking up just a little bit. Thank God. I'm going to travel with the pistol on me. Once we get there, I'll take it off. <laughs> <laughs> you never oh. know. Found it. You sure you want to wear this bulky thing? Yes. Only for the road. mess up the wrong cart if they try to <laughs> rob us. Isn't that right? <laughs> that is definitely right. Got the one hole down there for you. The others yeah. up here for me. <laughs> Are you going to wear a hat today? No. No hat? Okay. Mm -hmm. My 
my Chatelaine. <laughs> oh. Now you're asking to be robbed. That's why I have this on. <laughs> Don't forget your wallet. Thank you. Should I take my housewife with me? Just in case. Yeah, you never know. Somebody might lose a button. Mm -hmm. Excellent point. It really must be good going now, dear. I packed already your buckle shoes um, in my travel bag so when we get there change from the boots to your buckle shoes uh, it's more formal for a wedding I'm a boot guy I don't realize this <laughs> but they'll be covered in mud and whatnot if I gotta jump out of the cart and nail shoe back on a horse or fix mm -hmm. a wheel I need boots so I like yeah. to be prepared yeah well, I had to pack your buckle shoes <laughs> Okay. for well, when we get there. Well, we must be get going. Okay. You look lovely. Thank you.